Happy holidays from all of us at the Kim Commando Show and Kim Commando Today. This is a replay of Kim Commando Today. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you all next year. I always like to start with something interesting, and it was bound to happen, you know this, and bound to happen on YouTube. Does the iPhone 14 crash detection, does it actually work? Well, to do that, you actually have to, what? Crash a car with an iPhone 14 on the inside. So that's what they did on YouTube. They put an iPhone 14 Pro in a grand marquee, and then they crashed the car. Okay, good news, no one was hurt. The car was actually on remote control. And yes, the iPhone 14 Pro crash detection actually worked. And this reminded me about something. Did you hear about the guitar that had a car crash? Did you hear about this? It wasn't bad. It was just a fender bender. Yes. And on that happy note, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to America's largest show about all things digital. It's your most trusted source, after all. It's called The Kim Commando Show because I'm America's digital pro. Kim Commando here with you once again. And of course, you can find us streaming in your favorite radio app. Just search for my last name, Commando. And of course, we're also on over 425 top stations throughout the United States. And you can also find us streaming as a podcast, as a webcast, 24-7, whenever you want. There's actually three months of archives, and it's commercial free. And it's just a few bucks a month after your free 30-day trial over at GetKim.com. Once again, that address is GetKim.com. And a special thank you and salute goes out to all of our listeners on the American Forces Network Radio serving more than 375,000 American servicemen and women in 175 countries and 200 ships at sea get the Kim Commando Show. And I'm sure you have at least a few questions about something digital I can lend a hand to. I'm here for you, whether it's how to get this gadget or that gadget, how to build your business, how to make money, save money. I am here as your number one trusted source on our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line. At 1-888-825-5254 is the way to join us. All right, I scour the newswires and all these different websites, and I talk to my friends, and these are industry insiders. And I do this every single day to bring you up to date on all things digital. And at this top of the show, I like to talk about five things that you need to know about tech that's happening in the world and tech news. And we're going to start with the federal court ruling this past week. Let me tell you, it was a major blow to all social media especially Facebook and Twitter. Three words, no more censorship. That's right, no more censorship. Because for years, political conservatives have complained that social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter, they primarily censored and sometimes closed the accounts of anyone expressing views that the social media companies didn't like. Now, whether you love them or whether you hate them, Donald Trump is a big example. A lifetime ban from Twitter and also Facebook, it's the biggest example. But this past week, a federal court upheld a Texas law prohibiting social media companies with over 50 million monthly users from censoring users' personal views. So if it's legal to say out loud, the First Amendment bars Twitter, Facebook, and all the rest from censoring posts. Now, there's only one place for social media left to fight. You know where that is. The United States Supreme Court. And you can bet Zuckerberg and Twitter, they're going to be leading the way. All right, number two on our list. This is the way not to fix a porn problem. It happens all the time. Something's wrong with your computer or website, your internet, and you go to Google and you type in the name of the company and the words tech support or helpline. Oh, lucky you right there at the top. It's exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so you call the number. A nice, friendly person answers and asks for a few details and what's the problem. What kind of device are you using? When did you first notice the problem? Very innocent questions. And wow, suddenly they know the answer. It's porn. Someone was watching porn online and your computer was hacked. Or you have a teenage son in the house and he has a porn addiction. Or in another case, thousands and thousands of people are watching porn using your IP address and internet connection. And then the scammers tell you what you really need is a $1,000 computer security program. They don't do anything, by the way. All they do is just steal your money. In some cases, they install some remote access that will record all your passwords, keystrokes, everything that you do on there on the computer. So never Google search a company's tech support number. Never do that. Always go to their website and use their chat or use their ticketing system. All right, number three on our list, Optimus is coming. That's right. It's the Tesla bot standing at five foot eight inches tall. And Elon says it's going to be removing the boring responsibilities from those of us who want to 
welcome a brand new member to our family, but we're talking about a robot. And the Tesla bot's gonna take care of things like the trash, cooking, cleaning, maybe even changing light bulbs. That'd be nice. I hate getting on that ladder. Vacuuming. Ugh, can't stand that. Now, I wonder if it would do laundry. That's my number one hate to-do list. Anyway, the Tesla bot can carry up to 45 pounds and lift 150 pounds and run five miles per hour. It's designed not to run and because this way people won't be afraid of it. Because if it's going 25 miles an hour, like that would be really frightening, wouldn't it? It's going to have AI and it's going to learn at blazing fast speeds, Elon Musk says, and have the eventual power of an AI-like god. Ooh, isn't that kind of frightening? Uh, September 30th, just around the corner, is the Tesla AI event. And let me tell you, he has to show, Elon Musk has to show the robot doing unscripted things, not just like jumping and walking around. And no doubt the Tesla robot is going to be expensive. That's right. They have to charge a lot. Hmm. All right, number four on our list of five things is I fell for the clickbait, so you don't have to, and here's the headline. Tech workers are getting leg lengthening surgery that costs up to $150,000 report. All right, I fell for it. What is it? So there's this doctor by the name of Kevin Desparchard. Maybe he's not a doctor, just said he's the head of the Nevada-based Limb Plastic Institute. And he says that workers from the tech sector comprise a significant chunk of patients who are getting this new cosmetic surgical procedure. He says, and I quote, I got like 20 software engineers doing this procedure right now who are in Vegas. There was a girl yesterday from PayPal. I've got patients from Google, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft. As a matter of fact, I've had multiple patients from Microsoft. It costs anywhere between 70 and $150,000, depending upon how many inches that the patient wants to grow. Uh, the leg lengthening process requires, they say, a painful procedure. Listen to this. The doctor has to break the femur in each of the patient's legs, then inserts extendable metal nails. Ooh, the nails are gradually extended over the next three months, one millimeter a day. Ouch. Eventually making the recovered patient several inches taller. Why don't you just get lifts in your shoes? It would be so much easier because there are certain rules in life. Number one, you never ask a guy his height. Never do that. I mean, I asked Barry, how tall are you? He's like 6'3". I'm like, oh, I don't think so. I think five, more like 5'9". Uh, you never ask a girl her age, right? You never do that. And whatever you do, don't ask a Ukrainian farmer how he got his surface-to-air missile system. That's also a bad idea. And finally, the last, this coming in at number five, a virtual tune from the Space Force. Now, for all of our listeners on the Space Force, yes, on the American Forces Radio, I want you to pay attention to this because the internet's going crazy. I don't know if you know this, about the official government Space Force song. So we have tons of listeners and, uh, and you listen to us every week. So I thought that it would be appropriate for all of us to hear the official theme for the Space Force. It was just released this past week. It's called Semper Super, after the Space Force's motto, which is Latin for always above, always above. And members of the Space Force are called guardians. So the lyrics are, are pretty short. We're the mighty, watchful eye, guardians beyond the blue, the invisible front line, warfighters brave and true, boldly reaching into space. There's no limit to our sky, standing guard both day and night. We're the Space Force from on high. That's so nice. And we are so glad that you're there, by the way. Uh, let's see. The singer-songwriter James Tichenor, he's a former member of the Air Force Band at the Air Force Academy. He came up with a tune. And a Coast Guard trombonist, Sean Nelson, actually did the arranging. So here, take a listen, and then let me know what you think about it. Here we go. The watchful eye. The blue. Okay. They are going to go boldly where nobody has gone before. Now, you know, I like the tune. I think it's very good. It sounds a little 1950-ish to me. 
And I'm just, for those of you who are listening on Space Force, maybe you can like put in some Star Wars sound effects. That's what it needs. I think it's like some, some more oomph, I think, than just where the Space Force from on high. I'm telling you, for, for me, this Space Force song, it just has no atmosphere. None at all. All right. As I like to say, this hour is just jam-packed. Coming up, I have a secret about fast chargers that nobody wants you to know about. And we have a new Google Maps feature that will let you know the air quality near you. And we have Apple's new super secure mode. What exactly is it and how you can use it? Uh, We have how to find the best router and the best way to keep your cell phone number private. And of course, we have all of your fantastic phone calls from coast to coast here on the Kim Commando Show. Hey, our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at 1-888-825-5254 is the way to join us. And I'm super excited to tell you about a brand new service here at the Kim Commando Show. It's fabulous. You go to getkimshelp.com, getkimshelp.com, because finding tech support online is risky. I mean, you don't want to do that. That's why I partnered with the top tech experts to give you 24-7 live tech support that you can trust. They're going to fix your problem or there's no charge. And that's what you get over at getkimshelp.com. So whether it's a problem with your Wi-Fi, your printer, your smartphone, your computer, your TV, your smart speaker, anything else connected, the experts at getkimshelp.com fix most issues in 10 minutes or less. So when you have a tech support problem, don't Google it. Just go to getkimshelp.com. All right. How about we start with Faith in Madison, Alabama? Hello there, Faith. Hello, Kim. How are you? I'm fantastic. What's going on? Well, I am in a quandary about what to buy as far as uh, cell phones. Okay. I have an iPhone 6 Plus, which my family laughed at me about. I was just going to (laughs) say, that's terrible. Oh, my gosh. It is terrible. But I've been fighting tooth and nail not to get a new one. I'm finally giving in, and so... I was like, what do I do? So I said, well, let me talk to Kim about this. So I'm trying to decide whether to just upgrade through AT&T. That's the carrier I have. Sure. Or if I should buy some unlocked phone. Uh, I looked at a 12. My husband said, why are you going with a 12 when there's a 13? But I was like, uh and there's Whatever a and, and, and there's getting. and there's a 14 too so right right well, all right you know, I'm, I'm kicking and screaming as it is so all right so tell do you so, so do you want a face do you want a nice big phone or you want something that you can put in your jean pocket oh no a nice big one okay all right and then uh, i like the nice big phone okay so here's what you do is you have your, your husband's right you could tell him I said that, by the way. Mm-hmm. Don't tell him that. Yeah, okay, sure, no, I want to. <laughs> okay, just, I might tell him. Yeah, just say, listen, honey, Kim said you're right. Yeah, I don't want to go to the okay. 12. So when we start looking right. at bigger phones, you're going to choose between right now the iPhone 13 Pro Max and what just came oh, out is the, is the 14 Pro Max. Okay. okay. So, so exactly what is the difference, right? I mean, what am I going to get right. between the right. 13 and the 14? And then I'm going to tell you about the price uh-huh. difference. So with 14, you have something uh-huh. called, it's a it's a brand new thing that Apple has invented called the Dynamic Island. So you can see everything that's happening on your phone in just a tap away. So we, whether it's music, it's a, a picture that you took or uh, your email or your uh-huh. wallet or your reservations for dinner, whatever it may be, everything's just all st- sitting right there. Uh, it has a better uh-huh. display. The 14 has a better display. Not very much, okay. by the way, uh, but okay. it does have, but it's always going to be on. So you know how when you look at your phone now, it's black, it's always on. Right. So you can see the time okay. and your notifications and all that other good stuff. Uh, it has gotcha. a better camera. The 14 has a better camera, but really not uh-huh. a major difference. Uh, it has some better ways to deal with low lighting, but it's not a dramatic oh, okay. difference in the camera. Uh, it has on the video new action mode stabilization. It does have a satellite mm-hmm. connectivity. So if you're someplace where there's no cell phone and you're in an emergency, you can send a text message via satellite. Uh, it has the same battery life. It has the same charging speeds. So the price difference, and they're this, they're about the same size. It's a little bit different, but they're about the same size. Okay. 
So the okay. iPhone, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is about one thousand five hundred dollars. The iPhone yeah, 13 cool. Pro Max is a thousand dollars or less. So, okay. If I were you, I would buy the 13 Pro Max. Okay. Save the five hundred dollars okay. and then go buy myself a new dress or two or three <laughs> or four. Okay. Shoot, a purse, a purse. Or yes. a purse. A designer purse. Yeah. That's what it is. So there you go. So so look at your carrier. See what kind of deal that they'll give you with an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Because I'll tell you right now, there isn't that much difference. You know, if you can save some money, go ahead and do that. Now I have to upgrade and I'm really shooting myself that I'm gonna waste that money, but I have to because it's my job. But everybody else, uh, if you have a 13, just don't bother. All right, before we go back to all your phone calls and our great digital privacy security tip of the week, there was a report out last week that showed a link between air pollution and lung cancer, explaining how people who never smoked can still get the deadly disease. Now, here's a handy way to check the air quality in your area. You see, Google Maps just added a new air quality layer that offers just a ton of details. You can see where the figures are from, of course, including the EPA. And then they also have private enterprise reports and people who may have certain air filters in their homes as well. And the air quality index rates are shown between zero and 500. Obviously, lower the better. So to view the air quality index or the AQI, you open Google Maps on your iOS or Android device, and then you want to click that layers icon. That's in the top right-hand corner of the screen. It looks like a book stacked on another book. It's the same button to switch between street and satellite view too, by the way. You select air quality, and then there's another new option that you might want to check out too. It's called wildfires, and that shows where the wildfires are near you. And both will let you know whether it's smart, good idea to spend any extended time outdoors. All right, back to the phones we go with Alan in Tampa, Florida. Hi there, Alan. Hello. Welcome. How can I help you out today? Well, I had a question. I just wanted to um, advertise my business and have keywords in it that when people search it, you know, it pops up, but not like do a whole web page. I just wanted, you know, sometimes when you like you Google stuff, mm-hmm. it's just, just be a name and an a phone number and a short description. And what kind of um, what kind of business do you have? Well, I do landscaping. I have a nursery and yard maintenance. Okay. And a lot of times, I install plants and then maintain them for the people. Put in sod and so forth, and take care of it after that. Oh, you know that's pretty awesome. So, how come you don't want a website? Well, I didn't. I was trying to do this like cheap. <laughs> Oh, no. I don't know how to. Yeah, I can get that. But, you know, a lot of people, if you don't have a website, then they're like, okay, well, why don't they have a website? There's something wrong. Okay. Um, A website, the good news is, Alan, that, and we're going to talk about some other ways, but the good news on a website is that you don't need to have uh, a computer science degree or anything to make it anymore. You can sign up, use services like Wix.com or Weebly or Squarespace, and it's basically where they give you templates and then you just put in the the titles and some descriptions and some photos and some things like that. And so that this way uh, you'll be able to showcase your before and after pictures for the jobs that you've done. I'm sure you have some really great, great testimonials for that, right? Yeah, I have some. I just got to find where I put my pictures. <laughs> okay, well, well, you can find those. And then you can also um, request, if anybody wants any quotes, you can have them schedule a time with you right on the website. So if people aren't calling you and uh, saying, are you available between 10 and 2? And you're like, well, I can be there at 4. And they're like, well, not for today, but for like, how about three days? And you're like, no, not t- those three days. I can do it. You know what that is. That goes back and forth. Mm-hmm. And so you can have a, an application on your website where they just – they just schedule automatically. You say when you're free, and then they can schedule a time and give you directions. And, mm. and so there, there is a lot of benefits. And if you ever wanted to uh, open up a portal for your customers where they could go in and pay you automatically, uh, you could do that as well. And so just I'm just thinking like down the line, down the line. And if you had their email addresses, if you somebody contacted you and they said, Oh, you know, hey, Alan, it's uh, Christmas time. We've got a whole bunch of wreaths. If you could help us sell them, 
then you can send out an email address to all your customers and say, if you want a Christmas wreath, let me know. And they're, you know, small is 20 bucks and large is 50 bucks. And, uh, you know, with a $10 delivery free, I'll, I'll bring it over to your house. Right. So, well, that, yeah, that's a lot of good ideas I hadn't thought about. Yeah. So, so it really, it really helps you in your, your marketing. And mm -hmm. your, your next step is that you're going to want to uh, claim your business on Yelp. And then you want to tell all your customers to give you a nice five star rating on Yelp. And, you know, and, and you need to ask people to do this. They're just not going to do it automatically. You have to say, you know, if you, mm -hmm. you know, if you're really happy with my service, I would really appreciate a nice five star review on Yelp. I mean, that's where a lot of people also find things, especially uh, people who are under the age of 35. If they're looking for any type of business, they're not going to Google search. They're probably going to go to Yelp and type in the name of a business in order to see what other people think about it. Okay. Okay. And, now, how much does Yelp cost? Well, you know, they say it's free. Okay. But, and they're going to try to always upsell you, but don't let them uh -huh. upsell you. Uh, they're going to upsell you, say you could go to the top of the search results. Don't do that unless you have at least 20 reviews that are positive. Because otherwise you're just wasting your time because somebody's going to see you at the top of the search results and you're not going to have any reviews. And then they're going to be like, well, who is this guy? Right? So, okay. so, yeah. you, so you need to think of your business that way. And then also we have a sponsor, Angie.com. And that's A-N-G-I.com. And that's where you can list your business. And that's a site where, oh. where people go and they say, I need, uh, I, like I did, I needed a landscaping, I, somebody to do my landscaping in Los Angeles. And I went to Angie and I found this great landscaper. He redid the front yard, the backyard, and now he's maintaining it every month. Okay. And mm -hmm. so, so, and that's where you can also get some business. Um, so so I just gave you a whole bunch of stuff to do. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's a, did you write all this down for me? <laughs> no, I didn't. But but I can I can give you some links. All right. Okay. And uh, I'll send you some links via email. And for everybody else, in case that you want to, you're in the same situation. You're trying to get your business off the ground. And hey, Alan, by the way, I appreciate your call. If you need any help along the way, I want you to know you can call me back. Okay. Thank all right. You. Because I mean. I started my own business. I did. And I know what it's like and getting just trying to get out there. And, and it was a really important thing to me that when I started my business that I did it with no debt and I did it with no investors. And I'm proud to say to this day, we have no debt and we have no investors. And so if you're looking, if you're like Alan, like I mentioned, is that we are going to post some links over inside the commando community. And if you hear me say that you're on the, uh, the radio show or the podcast, uh, just make sure that you go to commando.com slash community. And then there's a Q&A form, and there's a link over on the left-hand side, but that's commando.com slash community. All right, it's time now for our digital privacy tip of the week. And this week is brought to you by Total AV. This is a really interesting thing, what Apple has done with iOS 16. And if you have an iPhone 8 or above, you can get iOS 16. Now, in iOS 16, you have something called lockdown mode. Now, Apple says that it's really for people who face serious threats to their digital security. They say they're talking about journalists, politicians, activists. But we have found another clever use for this. If you're caring for family members who aren't tech savvy, or if someone has, say, um, a diminished cognitive capacity, I want you to take a look at lockdown mode because I've received so many calls from people who are calling for someone with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, or ALS. And what lockdown mode does, well, let me tell you what it does. Uh, first of all, with web browsing, it disables certain features in the Safari browser. Uh, and it will make, it'll make some websites that are slow, buggy, or unable to load. So, so you can exclude these trusted websites. There's also restrictions on apps. So certain apps are blocked or restricted, and you can pick and choose. Uh, incoming invitations from Apple services like calendar invites and notes, those are also blocked. Uh, it needs to be unlocked to connect to a device to a USB accessory or another computer. Okay, so they, they can't connect that comp the phone up to anything else. There are some restriction in enrollments, configuration profiles, things like that. Uh, FaceTime, incoming FaceTime calls are blocked if you never called that person before. Uh, you can also exclude certain people too. 
Uh, messages. Most message attachments are blocked other than certain images, videos, and audio, but links and link previews are removed. Share albums are removed from the Photos app, and new shared album invitations are also blocked. So there's a lot within this lockdown mode. And you can check it out if you want to. Just go to Settings and Privacy and Security. You'll see the options way on the bottom of the screen there. Once again, that's going to your Settings, Privacy, and Security. Again, it's at the bottom of the screen. Now, when lockdown mode is enabled, you're going to get notifications when something is limited. By the way, now, if that person in your life uses Android, uh, there's an option for you, too. With Android 9, Google has its own lockdown mode. And we have all the details on how this works and how you can set it up over on the website. Just head over to commando.com. That's K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com. And when you're there, hit the link that says Kim Show. All right, still to come, how to find the best router and the best way to keep your cell phone number private. And, of course, we have more of your great phone calls here on the Kim Commando Show. All right, if you haven't already gotten our free guides for your Windows or Mac, uh, you better hurry up because we're going to be making them paid within the next month or so, or probably actually before under a month, because we've been talking about when to move it over to Amazon, and then we'll start charging people for these free guides. But you can get them free right now if you go to commando.com slash free guides. And do it now while you're thinking about it. I don't want to get your email and your calls and your notes on social a few weeks from now that says, Kim, you told me the guides were free. Yes, they are free right now, but they will be going paid on Amazon as an ebook. So head over to commando.com slash free guides. And whether you're on Windows, you can get your Windows guide. Mac, of course, you can get the Mac guide. And you have search tricks. We have keyboard shortcuts. Uh, we have messaging shortcuts. And also we have some free downloads that you know if you put them on your Windows or Mac machine that it's not going to ruin your system. So again, that's commando.com slash free guides. All right, one more thing to pass along that we have going on on the website is that, you know, when it comes time to find the best router, there are certain things that every tech pro does. You count how many devices use the internet in your home because a weak router won't be able to support as many devices at once, which affects your speed. Then you want to factor in the size of your home. And you may notice some dead zones where the Wi-Fi doesn't reach, plus areas further away from the router see slower internet speeds. So you need a strong antenna. Finally, you want to make sure the router has secure encryption to block out intruders. And WPA3 is the latest encryption standard. So to, to find the best router, we have actually put together a IPAI quiz. Yes, it's big, big stuff. Head over to commando.com slash router quiz. That's commando.com slash router quiz. You take the quiz, answer a few questions, and then our AI and our tech geniuses will come up and say, this is the router for you. This is the one for you. Again, that's commando.com slash router quiz. So you got two things over at the website. Commando.com slash free guides, commando.com slash router quiz. And back to the phones we go with Bill in Madison, Wisconsin. Hello there, Bill. Yes. Hi, Kim. Welcome. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Kim, I read your uh, article in the latest AARP magazine. Oh, well, thank you and, for doing that. Yep. Yeah. Lots of great tips and information. Um, I'm looking at it right now, and in, in there you say you use Wi-Fi mesh networks. Yes. And that's something that I think uh, might uh, might work for me. Okay. So um, what kind of internet do you have? I have satellite. Okay. And who's your provider? A satellite ISP. Viasat. Okay. And then what's the typical speed? Laugh. <laughs> Slow. It's 12. Oh. <laughs> well, Okay. <laughs> Well, Sometimes I'll get up to 17. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry for you, Bill. I am. I'm sorry. I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> have you looked at Starlink? I have not. Okay. I want you to look at Starlink. Go to Starlink.com. That's Elon Musk satellites that are going over all over the world. And... The, the reason why I bring that up is that uh, we're using Starlink as a backup for for when we do some of the shows from when I'm not here in Phoenix. And let me tell you, Bill, coming down, it's about 150. And then going back up, going back up, it's about five. So you're going to go from 12 to 15 
to 150 or five, you know, these, you know, your mileage may vary, but Starlink is pretty amazing. And then of course, you're going to put the mesh network, Eero mesh uh, Wi-Fi system is amazing. You just need that three pack. That's what we're using. And it's about $160, $70. And it's really easy to set up. Now the Starlink, what I want you to do is, is to look at the price. And I don't, I didn't go through that with you. Uh, but it's $600 for all the gear, and then it's about $110 a month. But you have a really bad internet connection coming down. I think we need to fix that before we fix the router situation. So take a look and see if you can get Starlink, uh, and then add that Eero mesh, and then you'll be just smoking there in Madison, Wisconsin. I'm sure it's available in Madison. Bill, I'm sure that it is. And also, thanks for picking up that AARP magazine. In case you don't know, I was the cover girl. Hmm. Yes, for AARP for September. And it's a part of their tech section. And so if you read the magazine and you liked it, make sure that you drop them a note and say, hey, thanks for putting Kim Commando on the cover. Bill, thank you for your call. Okay. It's that awkward situation when someone says, send me a text so I have your phone number. And you're like, oh, I don't know if I really want to do that. Okay. When that happens, or what happens a lot, and you want to keep your cell phone number private, is I want you to take a look at Google Voice. You get a second free number on your existing phone that will ring on your phone, and if that number gets spammy, you can just get a new one. And you can pick your own number, too. A friend of mine shows the area code 202, so he can say, oh, you can reach me at my Washington, D.C. office. Yes. Hey, thanks for listening to Kim Commando today. So reach over and give me a nice five-star review. Yes, thank you, and thanks for listening.